One thing that northwestern New Mexico is known for is lots of dinosaur fossils. Previously, paleontologists estimated that the site was 70 million years old, but now a team of scientists from around the world, including at NMSU, have new evidence. They say the rock in the Bisti Badlands holds a snapshot of the period of time when a massive asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs. It's a paper that could rewrite what we know of the end of dinosaurs' time on Earth. Mass extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago is probably the best known mass extinction. Most people know about the meteorite impact in the Yucatan Peninsula that wipes out the dinosaurs and a whole bunch of other uh, organisms. Fossils from the time of the dinosaurs come from all over the world. But for decades, the only known fossils from that extinction period came from sites in Montana and North Dakota. But now, Dr. Andrew Flynn and his colleagues say that some of New Mexico's dig sites also show evidence from that time period. What we were able to show is that these rocks are not 70 million years old, like previously thought, but they're actually from that last very tiny sliver of time just before the mass extinction event. It's the last couple hundred thousand years. So in human time scales, that's quite long, but in geology, that's actually quite short. If Dr. Flynn and his partners are right, that would mean that the fossils from the Bisti de Nazin wilderness come from that extinction period. And that challenges some previously held theories, specifically that dinosaurs were already dying off when the meteor hit. And that lends support to the fact that dinosaurs are not on their way out. And we just need more sampling and more data. New Mexico's fossils would imply much more dino diversity at a time when some paleontologists say there shouldn't be. Dinosaurs are actually quite different than Montana. They're dominated by a 100-foot-long, 35-ton long neck sauropod dinosaur that is only found in the south of North America. For reference, for people who don't think about this, that's roughly the same length as a 737 jet, and it weighed as much as six full-grown African elephants. Dr. Flynn says the more we keep digging in the rocks, the better idea we'll have about the end of the age of dinosaurs. It's really important to study all sorts of new areas, particularly in, in sort of parts of Western North America that, that we haven't really worked in before. Places like Texas, for instance, uh, there are really awesome rocks of roughly this age that I have colleagues that are working on right now that'll hopefully clear up a lot of ideas. It was just really nice to see this done. I'm excited that people are interested in what we're doing. Dr. Flynn worked with scientists from all over the world on this study. This latest published paper took 13 years to complete.